Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to do a video on uh, doing uh, my in-floor heat. Uh, I'm gonna do that with uh, my hot water heater. And I just wanna go over uh, how I'm gonna do that. And I still gotta pick up some more supplies, so I'll start working on it slowly and surely. But uh, down here in Tennessee, it doesn't get that cold, but I did build on a slab. I uh, have a heat pump uh, that does air conditioning uh, here at the house and also uh, does the heat. So we did, uh, like I say, put in uh, in-floor heat, and now it's just time to hook it up. And I did buy a Bradford and White 75-gallon hot water heater, uh, which has another feed and another return and it says for space heater heating outlet which uh, so it's got enough B to you but I'm going to use it on the in floor because this right now is all hooked up uh, for my uh, hot water to supply the house and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a flat plate exchanger I think I got a 50 plate and that 50 plate will go ahead and keep the water separate from the in-floor and the water that goes uh, through the faucets and stuff like that. So I will have a circulating pump on the hot water heater going through the flat plate, and then I will have another uh, pump heating from the flat plate to uh, the in-floor. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my flat plate yet. I'm not sure how I'm gonna come out of my hot water heater, go over this way or up. I'm just not sure yet, but um, just wanna let you know that's what we're gonna do. And we will start uh, picking away at this and hopefully it will help some people. So uh, we'll just start working on it. Okay, so basically all I got to do is tie in on the domestic side. This would be my feed. I just got to run over uh, to the flat plate on my feed here. I'll mount my uh, circulating pump and then I'll come out of the top and come down uh, to the bottom uh, port of the hot water heater so that's that's uh all i got to do and then uh do some wiring and this thing will be all done what i did do is when i got to this point i uh closed this valve i put a drain valve here and put my garden hose to it and pressurize this part of the my plumbing up and the only thing that leaked was uh, this reducer uh, right here was just a little bit loose. And I think it was three quarters of a turn. Uh, so I've already checked that stuff as far as that copper. The next copper will just be uh, here. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get that done and get back with you.
Okay, everybody. Well, we got it all hooked up. I got all the wiring done. I would like to say that I am not a licensed plumber. I am not a licensed HVAC person. I'm just a regular homeowner uh, and just wanted to uh, do this uh, with the hot water heater and uh, see how it works. So uh, we do have it all hooked up. My wiring is not the best right now. What this was is on the hot water heater. Uh, all I did is I put a, a valve up here and that way I am able to feed my system if I have to. Uh, go ahead and feed it and there's a way to bleed it as all also uh, but this way I just haven't taken the hose off uh, I've had people uh, mention that I'm coming into the hot plate on the bottom out the top and my hot water coming out of the bottom of the flat plate and back uh, the return to the top some people say it should be hot in the top, cold out the bottom. Uh, one way I always had it told to me is uh, water doesn't know which way it's supposed to go. Uh, this has been running for uh, about a month and uh, the house is heating and everything's working. I was also uh, told afterwards that the hot water heater, or I'm sorry, the feed pump is supposed to be uh, is supposed to draw through the mixing valve so the pump is what I was t told here afterwards is supposed to be here to pull through it but if I have 10 pounds of pressure on my line how does it it's all pressured up how does how does it know that it's not pulling through it you know, if it's all 10 pounds of pressure, I don't know. There again, for the last month, it's working. I'm running basically very close to 100, uh, 100 degree temperature through my floor, and I'm right around eight, eight pounds of pressure. Uh, everything is, is is working. I temporarily hooked uh, my pumps up. How that is, I haven't finished making it look nice yet, but my zone controller, uh, thermostat from in the house, when it calls for heat, it kicks on, gives power to my uh, pumps. What I did is I piggyback, when it comes to here, piggyback this one on uh, to my hot water heater. And so when the therm or the thermostat, yeah, calls for heat, energizes, it gives 110 to, uh, power to both pumps. All I did was come out of this with a pigtail and plugged in uh, to uh, 110 as well. So um, that uh, seems to be working. I guess you know how do I determine if the pump. I don't know. All I know is the house is heating and everything is working fine. Uh, the power vent uh, is on right now because it's recovering. Uh, if I hold my hand here, uh, this is hot. Uh, this is the return is not as hot. So that tells me that uh, flat plate is working. Over here, this is the hot side. Uh, you can tell that that is hotter. Let's see what the cold side. Yep, that, uh, that you can definitely tell that the hot is coming through the mixing valve. I've got cold water coming back. 100 and whatever it said, 100 degree water going through. Uh, it is mixing. So, and then cooler water coming back. So, the hot water is coming through, pulling the return water cold back in and what's left over going back to be reheated and circulated around so seems to me uh, the only you know seems to me that everything is working uh, but that is my system uh, using the hot water heater uh, as what I can say if eventually I guess I can like I mentioned 
put that down there the way people say it's supposed to be, and then I'll be done. So, any questions, any comments, you can go ahead and leave it. Uh, other than that, uh, it seems to be working fine. Happy with it. Down here in Tennessee, it uh, runs basically once every 24 hours. I can hear it kick on, and that's all it does. It heats the cement up and up where uh, the house is uh, warm uh, throughout the whole day, and then sometime in the middle of the night it does, I'll wake up, you know, two, three in the morning when I go to the bathroom, sometimes I can hear the, the power vent on, and it, that's all it runs. That's one thing, thing sweet about down here in Tennessee, where in Michigan, I was, uh, you know, uh, 20 degrees, 10 degrees below zero, and so when I had the boiler on the wall or the outdoor wood so it was uh, constantly kicking on because of colder climate. So anyway, everything's be working great down here in Tennessee. Any comments or anything like that, you're more than welcome to leave them, and I'll see if I can answer them. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.